Okay, per request, in this video we're going to be analyzing Louis Allen III. And let's begin with his side profile. So his brow region actually is not overly masculinized. It is certainly masculinized, but the nasofrontal angle itself is... I don't know why it's not coming up. But here it's about 120 degrees which is ideal and he obviously has a lot of brow bone protrusion and we'll see in the front profile as well that his eyes are perfectly ideal there's zero flaws in his eyes and actually we'll cover that right now so on the topic of his eye area he has virtually the most flawless eye area you can have in that his eyes are perfectly spaced at 45.6 percent of facial width and excuse me if i found sound a little bit raspy i have a bit of a cold and that is ideal eye spacing and additionally his eyes are exactly one eye apart so the combination of these two is an extremely rare trait to have. His eyes are the ideal width to height ratio of 3 to 1 exactly. 3.03 .03 to be exact, but just, round, just rounding down. So that is perfectly ideal. And his eyebrows are virtually right next to the eyes. There's zero distance between his eyebrows and his eyes. This photo, the head is tilted slightly back, but even here, they're really close to the eyes. And his eye tilt is perfectly ideal as well, at about six degrees upturned, and it might be slightly higher in this towards seven to eight. So that is perfectly ideal eye upturn as well. His mid face ratio, which also sort of has to do with the eye spacing, is a perfect one to one square. So it's almost like he's fabricated in a lab as all his ratios are just perfectly spot on ideal. And here it's about 1.03, but here it's about 0.99. So, and like I said, if your head is slightly tilted back even a little bit it can boost the measurement by about 0 0.3 0 0.03 but either way it's ideal so we'll go back to the side profile here and talk about his facial flatness so we'll depict that here his face is ideally round in the side profile in that his facial convexity here is a perfect angle of about 168.5 degrees. The unique case with Louis here is actually angles below 170 tend to be more common in Caucasian people. So he definitely has a unique side profile as most black subgroups tend to have flatter facial profiles but it is still in the ideal range regardless. The one flaw in his facial flatness is that his facial convexity with his nasion, or this point here, this is called the nasion, if you take the facial convexity here, it's slightly too low. And what this means is that his brow is very protruded, so his brow bone helps balance his facial convexity. His nose assessments are all perfectly ideal, so nothing there really to note. His nasal protrusion, the one thing I would note is his nasal protrusion, or just a rough sketch, I already measured all of this, would be this measurement, A divided by B, is slightly too high at about 0.7, just ever so slightly outside of the ideal range meaning that his nose is a little bit more protruded than ideal relative to how back and high it is. 
So it's a little bit more of a stubby nose shape. But not a big deal there. All of his lip assessments are ideal. As in black subgroups, it may be a different E line, H line, and S line assessment. Obviously, if the lips are more protrusive on average, it's still ideal. You can see the lips align. As long as it's not overboard, we'll, we have to do a little bit of extrapolating. His gonial angle, or the angle of his jaw, it's a little bit hard to show here because the head's at an angle, but I had to tilt my head to do this. Anyway, just to briefly show it, his jaw angle is about 100 and 11 degrees to 113 so this is about as low as you can go to have an ideal jaw and his is extremely masculinized and squared and you can see that in the front profile and everything else about his jaw is very good the only thing to note is his I'll show it here it's higher quality his mandible or the lower jaw is slightly too flat so we'll show that generally like this and we have to take it relative to the Frankfurt plane and it's about 11 degrees so this angle right here should be a little bit wider his jaw should be a little bit more down swung like that and you can see it's a little bit too flat depending on the photo and I'll actually tie this into the jaw frontal angle so depending on the photo it is ideal like here you can see it's ideal his jaw looks ideally tapered at about 88 degrees and it harmonizes perfectly with his mid face but if the photo is taken from a lower angle like here and the head slightly upturned it can be just ever so slightly too high so here it was about 98 degrees trying to roughly show so here it would be slightly less than ideal just by one or two degrees and I just gave him an ideal measurement overall just because we're taking an average so take uh, what you want from that so we might have a slight flaw there but I'm being a bit forgiving and going back to the side profile his eye under eye region is protrusive you can see a positive orbital vector here relative to this plane so he has a lot of under eye support and no notable eye bags really well there is a little bit but there's no severe troughs or hollow circles if we go to the mental labial angle, which is this angle underneath the lips and the chin, it is perfectly ideal at about 115 degrees. So he has a protrusive chin and a good lip protrusion as well. I'm not too sure what angle this photo was taken at, but it looks a little bit off here. But still, this angle is ideal. You can actually check his lip assessments here as well. So we have the E line which is good ideal there ideal if we're adjusting for and ideal here so virtually he has no flaws in the side profile just a few minor ones and the overall side score is a 90.6 percent which is extremely high now let's talk about the front profile and here the same case can be said he has a virtually harmonious face and in both his side and front profile are pretty close to one another so his neck width is a strong point and it masculinizes his face it's almost one to one with his jaw his jaw width is also extremely high at the highest end of ideal any more than this and it becomes uncanny so he has about a 90 1.7% wide jaw 
relative to a cheap one with any more than this and it, it does add to a disharmonious effect okay the main flaw to note is in regards to his chin and filtrum region and the first measurement will show that is with the chin to filtrum ratio so his chin to filtrum ratio is about 1.98 in this photo and if his head is slightly tilted down and in most photos it's going to be about 1.62 here which is extremely low so the general idea is that his filtrum is too long and another measurement that depicts that is the lower third facial proportion which is we divide this measurement by this and it should be about one third but his is about 37.7 percent so it's very far from the ideal range and he lost all the points for this measurement what this means is that his filtrum just like the previous measurement is too long if it was a bit more compact it would be more ideal and i think we can depict this in photoshop if we elongate his nose a little bit and that should make him better looking technically so if we elongate the nose it actually does improve his proportion a bit but one thing to take away from this is that his facial hair contouring or how he cuts his facial hair he makes his filter look shorter to make the measurement look more ideal for example whereas it would be like this before his region would be more like this and look more ideal and if you're looking at him from afar it may look like his nose ends down here because he has no facial hair and similarly his chin to filter ratio would be more like this would be 38 divided by this which is ideal 11 so actually that is not ideal that's too high but either way the point is 38 divided by 12 so yeah that would be like over 3 to 1 which is too high but still it makes the balancing effect is interesting so if between this one it is about 1.9 and if we just look at this is about 3 they sort of balance out at about 2.5 so it's probably unintentional that he's doing that but it works so that's his main flaw another flaw is that his facial thirds are a bit out of proportion so if we take a look at his facial thirds they're very good still but could be better so we'll take his upper third and his globella is really close to the eyebrows and his upper third is about 28.7 percent middle third is about 33.3 just round, rounding to simplify and his lower was about 37.7 percent so his facial third strays about 3.4.7% away. So they're close to ideal, but they're just too, there's too much of a disparity between his thirds. His lower third is too large and his forehead is a little bit too small. Ideally, they'd be more balanced like I showed. I can't find the edit, but either way, his nose would be a little bit longer ideally. Moving on, we see his lip proportions are good and ideal. Usually I'd like to say that 1.4 to 2 times the upper lip is ideal in that the lower lip should be larger, but in his case, his lower lip is 1.16 times. Though this is not a flaw, as in black people they tend to have fuller lips especially a fuller upper lip so this is still within reason and his lower lip is still larger than his upper lip you can see here 17.6 or 
18 here and it's a bit smaller here his mouth width to nose width ratio also is lower than the Caucasian average but still ideal as black people tend to have wider noses so it's still within a normal ideal range at 1.35 times his nose width if it was like 1.1 or so that would be a flaw so what you have to do is extrapolate the range a little bit lower based on averages as I haven't analyzed enough black men to come out with an average and an ideal so I have to do a little bit of extrapolating but for certain I can say that his mouth width to nose width ratio is ideal as it is very common his other proportions that I haven't touched on are his facial width to height ratio is perfectly ideal at a very compact and striking 2.05 and here about 2.1 either way it's in that 2 to 2.1 range which is extremely compact and striking of a mid face region And the last flaw he has, which is a slight deduction, is that his total facial width to height ratio is a little bit low, meaning his face could be longer. It's only 1.28. Here it's about 1.26 or so, and here it's about 1.29. So I take an average. Both photos don't look really distorted at all. So that's only slightly unideal ideally his face would be a little bit longer and we can actually show let, let's show the changes that would make his face look better so we max out nose height we can make the forehead a bit taller to add facial height and balance facial thirds a little bit and we can I think that should be alright. So you can see his face is a little bit too compact here, and if you make it a little bit wider or a little bit taller, excuse me, and we'll measure what it is now. So 240.3. And now it is about 1.32, so very close to ideal now. As the ideal is about 1.33 to 1.38. So that looks a little bit better. In terms of facial thirds, now his upper third is approximately 75 pixels. His lower third is still the largest, and his middle third is more balanced with that. And then his chin to filtrum ratio is about 16.3 and 39. So that should be ideal. That should be about 2.5 or so. Yeah, about 2.4. So perfectly ideal there. And the overall harmony score I haven't mentioned. So his front score was an 87.9%. And his overall score is an 89% on the dot, which is extremely high and clearly top model territory. And this is the edit. It does make his overall cranium and his head look a little bit larger, but ideally his hairline would be a little bit more back instead. It's a bit hard to explain, but and he clearly has high set cheekbones. It's another thing I did not mention. So if his harmony score is an 89% or say an 8.9, we see that his features are almost perfect as well. He has a well-defined jaw, a protruding cheekbone region, dark, dense eyebrows, and perfectly dense facial hair. So overall, his score would be above an 8.9.
at a let's say 9.4 to 9.7 or so and to be a 10 you need this these features and a perfect harmony score of 100 percent which i haven't found yet so thank you for watching please suggest any videos and order a facial analysis in the description if you'd like